trying to uh, <clears throat> find my dad's old office. Because um, I don't know where it is, though. Weird. So many things are different around here. Wait. Oh, my God. So... This was my father's original office when we moved here in 1969. And because now it's Caterpillar Daycare, but because um, I didn't want to go to Valley High. Ooh, there's a Roadrunner. State Bird. Silly. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. Where'd you go? Oh, you. What an ugly steak bird. Come here. There you go. <laughs> steak bird. Anyway. So. The deal is, I was sort of... Um, was kind of a fuck up, right? So I got kicked out of Sandia Prep. And then I went to Valley High for a bit. And I was kind of fucking up there, smoking too much weed, hanging out with the wrong crowd, not going to class. So I had a lot of friends who went to Highland. So I lied and used my dad's office address to go to Highland High for years. And it's amazing I didn't get caught. So that's what's up with this. This was it. This was where I lived. 4221 Silver <laughs> for three years of high school. Shh. Don't fucking rat me out, man. I was going to do one of these with my father, but it did not seem fair because he's not really who he used to be, and it didn't it didn't feel correct. I'm actually leaving in, in an hour, so I've been here for a few days. So I didn't uh, just to honor whatever his boundaries are. Not that he would know, but I mean he's not totally out of it, but it, it just didn't seem correct. So. This is what Highland High is now. Ooh. Like, I don't need, this was not here. I don't even know what that is. But these apartments were not here. This was not here. I don't know what, what all this is. And it, I don't know if I can get in here. I don't know what's happening. What's going on there? We're free food. Oh, free food? Yeah. Oh, I'm okay. I, I was in my old my high school. I was just looking around. Okay. Thanks. Uh, oh, it looks like I can go in here. Free food. That's nice, but it doesn't imply anything good. Um... There we go. Highland High School. I don't think I ever went in these doors. Ever. I don't remember ever coming here. I mean, I remember going to school here, but I was trying to remember driving up here, which exit I took, what the fuck was that all about? But uh, I don't remember. A lot of things went down here. Not a lot of learning. Not a lot of learning. Boring. Look, don't 
stay on the feed, you dumb fuck. It's like, just leave. Don't make comments. I'm not, I'm not telling anyone to do this. This is not required watching. If you're just going to be trolly cunts, just get off. This is what I'm doing right now. It's like, no one needs your comments. Just leave. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is wrong with people? This weird sense of entitlement to sort of distribute their stupid opinions because they've made a choice and they can just leave without saying anything. But that's what they're doing. It's like, okay, I'll go, but I'm just going to shit in your yard. Just get the fuck off. Who cares? But, um, yeah, I know a lot of people are still struggling financially. It's sad. But this is like the fucking high school. These are the parking lots. But I don't think the parking lot is there anymore. That was the parking lot where the, um, oh, that's relevant, where the uh, sort of RB sauce anti Semitic, uh, uh, um, event took place was right over here. I don't know what happened to that guy. I was hanging out with my friend Kleinfeld, and we were talking a lot about where did everybody go? Where did everybody go? What happened to the people? Now, to be honest with you, right over here, I don't know what happened to it, but right. Oh, it's still there. This is some important stuff right here. Um, not that anyone would know, but this was like one of the first Wendy's in Albuquerque. And when it first opened, it was before, you know, I could go off campus for lunch. I guess I was probably a freshman. I don't remember. But uh, but it was pretty fucking exciting. Salad bar. You know what I mean? Why didn't I go to Valley High? I just kept fucking up in school and looking for excuses. You know, like, I, I, I got kicked out of Sandia Prep um, for being like a, a, a dick. Okay. So the parking lot in my recollection, which seems to be, I don't know. I think they built whatever this is over here. This used to be the lot for people who weren't seniors and then the seniors could park in front of the school. But the RV sauce incident was one time I came out of after school and there were swastikers and Jewish stars on my uh, windshield uh, and it was all done in um, Arby's sauce and Arby's horsey sauce so I went to turn on the um, windshield wipers to wipe it off but they loaded up the wipers with more sauce so so that was as, as far as anti-semitic um Attacks go, uh, it was it was sort of minimalized by the RB sauce. Um, but the Wendy's was exciting because of the salad bar. And some of you may recognize, you know, this building from um, No Country for Old Men. That's it used to be the Albuquerque National Bank, and um, and I think you've seen it probably in Breaking Bad here and there. But it's weird, man. We were going over the people. I spent a lot of time with my dad, uh, which was good. But, you know, he's definitely begun the process. So, I thought, like, where was that? Like, which hotel was it where they had the big shootout um, at the end of No Country? Because I, th I thought it was right here. I thought it was the, the De Anza Motor Watch. Did they fucking tear that down or is it up here um yeah this is central avenue route 66 god damn i think they tore it down it doesn't even feel like that long ago that there used to be a skate rink over there like that you know like um where you could skate around in circles with other kids to the popular music of the day Yeah, so it was. It's been good to be home. God, it looks like that skate rink is still over there. Is that even possible? Um, but it's weird to be home, man. See what's left. See what's erased. See what's decaying along with you. Mm. 
Is Los Pollos Hermanos in Albuquerque? Yeah. Well, you know that place, the Dog House, that's down on Central here. And there's another place where they eat a couple of times called Taco Sal's, which is up near where my buddy's uh, parents' stereo store used to be. Yeah, my dad recognizes me. He's not, he's not, he's definitely not there yet. Um, but he's just slow and, you know, and he's got a he's very deliberate in this. I can't believe that place is there all ripped down. Oh, well. Um, what are you going to do? But I'm pretty sure it was the De Anza Motor Lodge where they shot that big shootout. How do I get out of here now? There's all these weird old hotels up here on Central. Okay, it says I can do a U-turn. I wonder if that's any good. I'm, I'm betting not. All right. Route 66, baby. Central Boulevard. Uh, yeah, so anyways, hanging out with my friend David and talking about all these fucking people that we knew in high school, who's dead, who's alive, who's still around. I guess if you don't stay on Facebook... You're never going to know these things. But if you stay on Facebook, your past will find you and assault you and attack you and drag you under. So by not being on Facebook, I've been denied the sort of realization of my own mortality in the faces and photos of people I knew in high school. Artichoke Cafe is still open. God knows how many fucking managers their ownerships that's been through. Scala is still open. It's just under new management. I went there. I've eaten more carne adovada at more places than I think usually. Uh, my dad does not live alone. Uh, he lives with his wife. And it's hard, but uh, they're holding up. They're holding up. I took him out for... Uh, for some Mexican food and chocolate ice cream yesterday. I took him out for some Chinese food the day before. And, uh, you know, it, it was kind of power. It's kind of powerful and sad, but, you know, I'm glad I'm at least grown up enough to be selfless enough to have the correct amount of empathy uh, to, um, to engage with him and, and be part of this without resentment. And with uh, as much love as I'm able. Um, but yeah, there was just no way I could uh, put him on one of these. I'm going to probably get a thousand dollar ticket for talking uh, on my phone like this. Oh, look, that used to be Ned's. Weird. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe this is boring. Oh, no. Here's the De Anza. So it must have been something else. It was up there, so I don't know. It doesn't matter. What time is it? Uh, 10.30. You see, this is this place has been here forever, but I thought that was where the shootout was, but it wasn't. It must have been some other joint. Definitely not that joint. No, that's apartments. I think that used to be a hotel. Like, all this is different. You know, no porn, no hookers, no weirdness. These ugly, postmodern uh, condo and apartment complexes. Um, as we head down, it looks like there's still some old shit around. Some of the old signs are still around. I don't know what businesses are open. I don't, you know, it's like I don't come here very often, but that... Right there, that premier motel there, I, I bet you it's not a premier hotel. Oh dear, I live on Facebook. Oh well, I guess I'm not cool. It's got nothing to do with cool. It just has something to do with what you do with your fucking brain, what you want to do with your brain, and you know what gates you want kicked down, and whether you want to live in reality or not. It's got nothing to do with cool or not cool. It's just self-protection. Stop on red. Okay. What is this? There must be some sort of... Is this a bus stop? 
Does that mean I can go now? Ooh, look at this old place. There's the Knob Hill Court. That's probably high end. More of these ugly fucking places. Yeah, man, I don't know. Here's Knob Hill. You know, it used to be in the corner of Knob Hill is uh, Odyssey Records. Odyssey Records. Posters, records. They all used to be like the same price. This used to be Kurt's Camera Corral. But Kurt died, and then I guess his son left. Um, Odyssey Records, Junior High. I think if I'm not... If I'm not mistaken. I think it was like every LP was like three dollars and sixty six cents if you bought like six of them. I think. And there's like clearly um, an old Arby's. That's now a Starbucks. I'm so it's so nice that they maintain the Arby's architecture. Do you want to keep doing this? I don't care. I got to drive around anyways. Um, look at that. That old... That, I don't know. I remember that place. There used to be a bigger sign there. Master Cleaners. That has always been there. I don't think I can eat uh, any more fucking green chili stew or carne anovada. I don't know. I might be able to. Hey, the Lobo Theater. They used to be Fred's Coffee. Everything's gone. It's fucking over. The Triangle. The Triangle Lounge used to be on this triangle. And now it's the Triangle Police Substation. Well, that makes sense. The Triangle Lounge was a fucking demon pit. One time, me and my buddy Dave leased out the Triangle Lounge after it was the Triangle Lounge, and it was the Something Brothers, whatever, but it was a shit show. We almost got robbed. We booked a little show with two bands, with a band called Off the Wall and a band called The Suspenders, and I was briefly managing The Suspenders in high school, and then Floyd Vasquez took over, and I had a resentment about that, but I didn't know how to manage a band, but I did make the business cards for the suspenders in my graphics class at Highland High. Uh, it was like, a, it was, it was a pretty good design. But we decided to do an event here and it was, they served near beer and we got Skid Rody, who was a DJ on, uh, I don't remember what station. We did an advertisement. We paid for radio advertising and we had like hundreds of fucking kids there, you know, paying cash money to get in and we had no security, no nothing. Just, it was crazy. And all I wanted to do was uh, uh, make out with, um, what was her name? Oh, I can't remember. But, uh, but everybody had a pretty good time. But we almost got robbed. Uh, if, if we hadn't locked the door, it would have been problematic. Uh, this is the University of New Mexico. And this is where I sort of... I guess I came of age around here, across the street in several different locations. There's the uh, center of the universe, Frontier Restaurant. And next door to it, this used to be Living Batch Books, but then Frontier like bought the entire block. And then Living Batch moved around the corner. And then, um, but that was Gus Blaisdell, the wizard and the wizard of Lizard City. This originally was Nunzio's New York Pizza. It was sort of a big deal. And that used to be the batch, but now it's like a fucking Nero's place. Um, all right. So that's that heavy hearted trip. It's kind of rough seeing the, uh, 
the parents starting to slow down. I head back today. Um, get back. I must put on three or four pounds. I guess I'll live with it. I think it looks good in my face. It's been hard times, hard times sleeping. Very depressing combination of the weight of your past, the weight of my dad's health, the weight of what's happening culturally and politically in the country. I'm not very good at compartmentalizing, so it's too close. So it all kind of crashes down on me. But then I'd sleep really deep for an hour or two here or there. And uh, maybe I should go in and get a bowl of green chili stew, right? Just one more bowl, green chili stew. What do you think? Did, Be- did Beavis and Butthead go to Al- Highland High or Albuquerque High? Because Mike Judge went to Albuquerque High. I do know the Tamron Institute of Lithography. They're right here. It's Tamron Institute of Lithography is, I think, I believe, still right there, if I'm not mistaken. Um, good photo program at UNM. They used to have a, a great photo program. It used to be sort of world-renowned. I'm not going to get a slice of Sagios. I ate at several different places. Um, same owner of, as Nunzio's? Come on, they've been around that long? It doesn't even look open, actually. I, uh, I ate... Um, the first meal I had was at Cuevas Rancheros here at Frontier. And then the uh, the next meal I had was at Campo, down in Los Poblanos, where I was staying. Then I woke up and had uh, breakfast at Campo, which involved Carneo Nevada. Frontier involved Carneo Nevada. And then um, I went to, uh, where was the next place I went? Oh, I went to Scala with Dave. And then I also had Chinese food with my dad. And then the next day, Dave, on David's recommendation... I was going to go to Duran's pharmacy, but he said that the brother you know, opened up a Duran station up on Wyoming, which was an old firehouse, I guess. And that was really the tops. Great. Had a carne alavada plate, homemade tortillas, and the green chili was awesome at uh, Duran station. Um, but yeah, man. It's a rough go. When everything kind of rains down on you all at once and you can't quite center, I guess that's when you're supposed to turn off the noise and lock into the present, lock into the breath or what have you. But it's in those moments where things don't seem to matter much. I don't know what this guy's doing. <laughs> 